apologies if you can hear my dryer going in the background it's so loud but welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome i hope you'll stay a while i hope you'll join and subscribe i'm picking up the camera today i have family in town my parents are here to visit and we're going on a small little road trip so i figured it would be the perfect time to pick up daisy jones in the six so if you don't know this is by taylor jenkins reed and it is coming out as a prime show on march 3rd so i'm like i have to read this i have to read it before i watch the show and i definitely want to watch the show as soon as it comes out because i've read a few other taylor jenkins reads Blah, i can never say that name all at once taylor jenkins reed books and I've enjoyed them, so I figure I might as well pick this up and watch the Prime Show because I absolutely love Prime Shows. I think they do a really good job. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be on a road trip and reading Daisy Jones and the Six. I might try to see if I can tune into the audiobook, but if not, at least I'll just be reading the book and I'm so excited. Yesterday, I actually did not get too far into this book, to be honest, but that's okay. I had a wonderful time with my family, and I just, you know, enjoyed spending time with them. But now I'm on page 39, and guys, Camilla and Billy, they're so cute. They're literally so so cute really enjoying this so far and i'm really interested to see how the six and daisy's stories are going to connect but right now i'm really enjoying it i'm having a good time i like taylor jenkins read i think her stories are always really good they're never like you know crazy for me but i think that this story might be like i'm really enjoying it i love the way that the format is like interview style so you're getting everybody's point of view at once i'm about to start the next chapter and i just thought i'd check in and let you guys know how it's going so far I'm on page 115 and finally Daisy and Billy have been introduced. Daisy has been introduced to the six, actually, in fact, not just Billy. The point that I'm at right now seems like there's going to be some type of change that happens. I really don't want to do any spoilers. I really don't know how I feel about Daisy, to be honest, and I'm also not sure. So I did not read the back of this book. I think I did a long time ago, like a while ago, but I haven't read it since I picked this book up. So I have no idea what's supposed to happen and I think I'm gonna keep it that way. I am very confused right now though about where this is going, like where Daisy and the Six's relationship is going. So those are my thoughts currently, but I'm absolutely loving the format of the interview style. Like I said before, it's very easy to read, very easy to keep up with and stay engaged with because things are just like constantly changing. You're getting all of their points of view. I'm just eating it up because it feels like a tell-all interview, which is kind of funny because that's exactly how The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo felt. However, I'm enjoying this much more. One of you guys told me that the band is basically based on Fleetwood Mac, which I did not know. So that was a nice little interesting tidbit. So I started listening to some Fleetwood Mac a little bit because I honestly, I think I only know the songs that have gone viral on TikTok by then, but also I did see that they have a Daisy Jones in the Six album. So there's only two songs out right now, I think, and then the rest of the whole album, Aura, will come out on March 3rd. And I don't know anything about Aura yet. I haven't gotten to that part in the story, but just to say that that album will come out the day that the show premieres. But I haven't really like landed on the playlist that I'm like, this is the playlist that I want. Usually I like pick one, so I haven't picked it yet. But when I do, I will make sure to list it in the description if you guys want to also listen to it while you read.
Okay, just got back from the gym. I just did like a quick little 30 minute walk and one thing that I discovered last year was that I really really enjoyed walking and reading on the treadmill. It's just such a good way to kill two birds with one stone. You get some steps in, you burn some calories, you get to progress in your story and you're so caught up in the book that you actually don't even realize how much you've been walking. So that's what I just did. I'm on page 143. A lot has happened. The only thing that I will say, which I feel like is not a spoiler, is that Daisy Jones and the Six have become Daisy Jones and the Six, which I feel like that's the title of the book, so that really shouldn't be a spoiler. I don't know if anyone else felt like this when they were reading this book, but I just feel this underlying tension. I feel like something crazy is going to happen, and yeah, I'm nervous. In a weird way, I've become attached to these characters. <sighs> we'll see. Good morning you guys it's the next day and i actually just started listening to like literally this morning just started listening to the audiobook on audible and i'm currently on page 267 so i have about 100 pages left of this and i just decided to pick up the audiobook because one one of you guys told me that i should try to listen to the audiobook and also i saw something on instagram where somebody was talking about how good the audiobook is and this is actually my first audiobook i also started annotating without even meaning to like the quotes are just so good i had to start annotating hi guys okay first thing first just want to show you guys this is a pimple patch because i have the most horrendous pimple taking over the side of my face and it's just that's that's what that is today is march 2nd it's thursday and technically daisy jones and the six is supposed to drop tomorrow march 3rd on friday but because of the time differences in the different time zones it's dropping tonight it actually already came out because it's like almost eight o'clock right now and it dropped at seven o'clock on prime also the album dropped today as well i listened to one song but i was like oh my god i gotta wait to like listen to it with you guys there's one song in particular that i really wanted to listen to so i'm gonna to pull it up here it is oh that cover is so pretty but obviously i have to listen to aurora because that's what the album is called and i really want to hear it and honeycomb has been out for days this song is so cute because we know so really quickly, just to wrap up the book portion of this before I go ahead and watch the show, I just want to give you guys like a quick rundown because I guess I never said that I finished the book. Incredible. Taylor Jenkins Reid really just, she really surprised me with this one. I just, I read it and I see that it's actually such a masterpiece. Like, I don't know how she wrote that to write all of those characters and have all of their stories I mean, not every single character was fully developed, but the story was just incredible, guys. It was so good. I give it a 4.5 stars. I keep thinking about it and I feel like this show is gonna make it even more like crazy. I just wanna give like a one to two word opinion on the main characters. So Billy, he's beautifully sad, beautifully tragic. But you can't help but love him for all that he tries to do and the man he tries to be. Daisy, severely misunderstood. There were some parts where she actually was getting on my last nerve, like she was, ugh, you know? But at the same time, she's so misunderstood and I actually felt so bad for her a lot of the time. Camilla, a saint, a literal saint. Karen, love her, but also hate that, like what she did, she just strung him along. Graham, the sweetest, he gives like big golden retriever energy. Eddie, insufferable. I just kept saying shut up every single time he spoke. He was so annoying. Pete, he's just there, no comment. And Warren was just literally living his best life. Also, Mick, Mick Riva. I love it when TJR universe, like when characters like come up in other TJR books. That was so freaking random. And then the author reveal. That the author reveal was done in true Taylor Jenkins read fashion. I did not see that coming. All in all, 4.5 stars, super great. And I'm so excited to watch the show. So let's tune in. It's fake in the book. The show is based off of the book. The book is based off of a real band. She just like made her own. Oh, it's fan fiction. It's not fan fiction. It, it's like, ladies, <laughs> ladies, get to a man who understands the assignment, okay? 
<laughs> we are about to begin episode three and it is just so good. Guys, I'm loving it. The casting is perfect. It's it, it's a little tiny bit, like in comparison to other book to movie or show adaptations, it's just ever so slightly off, but it always kind of like ties it back together. And I'm loving it. It's so good. It's so good. officially finished the show apparently the only the first three episodes are available and then from there they'll be releasing an episode every Friday until the season's over which I actually don't mind and I'm looking forward to that because otherwise I probably would have just binged it but yeah so the vlog is over I have finished the book listened to the soundtrack listened to the audiobook watched the show I feel like I've had a fully immersive experience and this was honestly so much fun I loved it and if you've read Daisy Jones and the Six and you loved it I highly recommend getting the full experience and if you haven't read it I highly recommend picking it up it's so good but on that note I am saying good night now thank you guys so much for watching thank you so so much if you are new here consider subscribing and joining the fam I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video this pimple badge is really a vibe killer you're not here, the sun don't shine When you're not near, I don't feel like I do when you're with me It felt like sudden